guys, and this is episode 7 of Shakespeare with Kids. Hi, this is Abit's mum. Hello, I'm Abit's cousin. Lona. And, to, and, to, and today we're going to do um, an act or a speech from The Winter's Tale. It's probably a, a, play, a play that Shakespeare made that some of you may not actually know. Mm. Because it's not one of his most famous No, ones. I guess not. But we're going to do a slight, slightly shortest passage on it. Yeah. So yeah. this is Act 2, Scene 1. Yeah. Okay. Leon... Leon. Leontes, mm-hmm. how blessed am I in, in my just censure, in my true opinion, a lack for lesser knowledge, how accursed in being so blessed. There may be in the cup a spider steeped, and one may drink, depart, and yet partake no venom, mm-hmm. for his knowledge is not infected. Yeah. But is but if one present the abhorred ingredient to his eye, make known how he hath drunk. He cracks his gorge, his sides with violent hefts. I have drunk, seen and seen the spider. Cam- Camilo was his help in this, his pandar. There is a plot against my life, my crown. All's true that is mistrusted, that false villain whom I employed was pre-employed by him. He had discovered my my design, and I remain a pinched thing. Ye, or yeah, a very trick for them to play at will. How came the the postens so easily open? Ah, okay. Lona, first thoughts, what do you reckon? Um, so I have looked up on this one a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, and um, the part when, um, how do you pronounce his name, Leontes? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so he says, uh, the, the, the part where he says, in being so blessed, there may be in the cup a spider seeped, steeped, yeah. sorry, <laughs> and one may drink the part and yet partake no venom for his knowledge is not infected. Um, and then he, so from what I've found out, this, he's basically, um, describing a metaphor. Yeah. Yeah. And the metaphor is, um, how, what you do not know will not hurt you. So yeah. there, this cup that he is talking about is a cup of wine. And then at the bottom, there is a spider inside the cup. Mm-hmm. However, you cannot see it, yeah. Yeah. but, um, if someone, and then it says, um, but if one present the abhorred ingredient to his eye, uh, which is basically revealing the spider, yeah. uh, it's it, then the person, or uh, in this case, he is doomed, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. that you've done research. I'm so happy. That's what <laughs> never happened. I love you. Okay, so no, that's that's brilliant. That's exactly right. It's like. Um, yeah, I think he's saying that if I hadn't known that there was a spider at the bottom of my cup, I would have had a drink, I would have walked away, no yeah. problem. Yeah. It wouldn't have hurt me in any way. Yeah, but because yeah. I know... So, can yeah. we say, like, it's, it's, be- it's better not to know that it's there? Yeah, so, so basically, ignorance is bliss. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, what... What you do not know will not hurt you. Exactly right. Yeah. yeah. That, that's in certain, certain circumstances. Because if, oh, you, yeah. if you put that yeah, to like, a met, uh, like life statement. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. No, no, no. I think it's just because he feels... So in the later p- passage, like he says that, well, I employed him and he's betrayed me. Yeah. So under those circumstances, it's like finding out. He probably was... You know, it. He probably wanted to find find out, but finding out has actually hurt him. So he's speaking out of the pain. Um, I was sort of, oh, yeah. why did I find out? I wish I hadn't known. Mm, you know, yeah. it's it's yeah. yeah. That's interesting, yeah. isn't it? So, I think that is all of this. So you know how Shakespeare has 
other play another play called a midsummer night's dream yeah so this this is sort of the opposite of that this is called the winter's oh. tale yeah so midsummer night's dream happy happy lovers fighting things going wrong winter's tale seems to be about sort of betrayal and death yeah what is it actually about like is there a theme to it like what actually happens so i, I so from what i understand uh, it's sort of like um um hamlet in the sense that you know it's not actually so don't think that leontes is actually being betrayed i think in his head he's sort of paranoid like kings tend to be you know he's like he's think he thinks that you know he's is he thinking that people are going to like try and yeah, take the throne yeah yeah that is exact yeah go on so i think from uh, also one thing i read was it has to do i'm trying to find it but um apparently he was how do you say betrayed by his wife or yeah so i think his wife was unfaithful in a way i'm not sure yeah so i but, think he thinks that she was unfaithful because mm-hmm. like other you know there is shakespeare often does this doesn't he like um uh, romeo and juliet romeo thinks that juliet is betrayed him unless i'm crazy yeah right so it's like yeah. in um hamlet uh, they in, in, sorry in othello he thinks that desdemona is cheating on him she's not right oh, it's paranoia okay. it's kind so, of just what's in his head yeah he's growing up himself exactly so it's him uh-huh. so it's it's very interesting because all of these things he's imagining and he's getting more and more excited about and and uh what happens with these sort of things is mm. uh, normally when a king's paranoid chances are no one's trying to take the throne yeah and when people are trying to take the throne the king isn't paranoid at all <laughs> they don't realize yeah. i think the paranoia sort of comes with the job description of being a king yeah. because you would have killed someone to take over the throne and yeah. it's right yeah 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 but this entire passage is a metaphor about the spider being in the cup right yeah right. One, one thing i don't yeah. do not understand though yeah um that after that specific small paragraph um he then says camillo i think it's camillo yeah was his help in this his pander yeah. there is a plot against my life my crap it, it's still so is he talking about the person who um as he says presented so, sorry Lord, yeah could be bit. no i uh, i was just saying i'm wondering whether camillo as he says is the person who showed him how do you say the spider at the bottom of the cup oh i didn't know that that's after that he says i have could... drunk and seen the spider camillo was his help in this his pander there is a plot against my life my crap what is he talking about then so either Yeah, there is actually a plot. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's just imagining and telling. Yeah. And telling like he Camilo, did. He's imagining. Well. Mm, yeah. I think he's saying that Camilo is one of the people who was helping the, you know, the plotter in his um, endeavor, right? That's. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly right. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I think mm. that's what they mean. So I think that most of it is paranoia. Uh, I think the story is Shakespeare often tends to sort of do this sort of things where the guy is going slowly mad. He has no reason to think that, but he's thinking that anyway. So uh, okay. yeah, I think that's what that's oh, about. That's very interesting. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that metaphor is truly one of the best i've ever heard yeah this entire passage about mm. why he didn't need to know um that his wife and his best friend yeah um betrayed him so uh, or you know he thinks are betraying yeah. him yeah yeah so um, I, i just how about you, i checked on the internet here yeah yeah and it says below is a brief plot summary of the winter's tale 
Polixenus, Pel- the mm. king of Behemoth, so yeah. I think this is the guy who's the king, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, has been visiting his old friend, King Leontis, so okay. this is the person, in Sicily okay. for nearly nine months, but is ready to ret- return to Bohemia. Okay. Leontis begs him to stay longer, but Polixenus. Polixenus is anxious to go and declines. So I think what's happening here is oh, he thinks okay. that Leontis might plot something against him, or the people in Sicily will plot something against him because oh, he you says. Mean, you mean he thinks that? Um, I think it's Leontis who's saying this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's not. He it's, it's yeah. It's okay. his life is in danger. So Leontis is the king that we are but discussing. But then Leontis yeah. is uh, uh, saying Leontis begs him to stay longer, but Polixenus is anxious to go and declines. So maybe Leontis is the per- is the person who is. Maybe that's the reason why he feels that he's been betrayed. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. That's an idea. yeah. Childhood for Leont, king of Sicilia, and his wife Hermione. Yeah. So you know. So, yeah. Yeah. So the. Harmony, the that's funny, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so Leontes becomes to... convinced that ah, now I get it. So they are childhood friends. So this is a typical tale of Shakespeare paranoia. So Polixenus is Leontes's friend, right? He's yeah. visiting Leontes because he's asked him to. He wants to go back. Leontes asked him, asks him to stay, but then Leontes takes it in his head to assume that Hermione, his wife, and Polixenus are having uh-huh. a relationship. So that okay. and and they are plotting to kill um, him, Leontes. Oh, whoa, oh. But another paranoia is not. Actually. Yeah, yeah, it's not actually yeah, true. It's, it's not actually true. Uh, well, th- that's why you should re- keep reading to find out. You know, that's yeah. no fun to. Yeah, so th- that's very interesting, isn't it? That was, yeah. good. That was yeah. a good one. That, that a dramatic sort of. Yeah, like a shape. short passage. Isn't but... that like um, Othello? It is like Othello Desdemona, mm. exactly like that. I think may- maybe he made that one, uh, just to get a rough guess, he made that one before Othello. And then he developed the idea on Othello. And Ooh, because, I like how you're thinking. Because Othello is actually a bit more popular than Wintertale. Like, it if you check on Shakespeare's, like, um, most popular works, yeah. Othello would be, like, uh, yeah. around the top and Winter's Tale a bit lower down. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah we should find that out. Maybe next week before yeah. we start, I'll have yeah. an update on this. Yeah. Anything else to add, you guys, about this? Mm, no, not really. How about you, Loni? No, I've got nothing else to say. Yeah, right. it's, it's quite a short passage. It is a short time. passage. Yeah. Next time we'll have more to discuss. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Guess that's it then. Okay. See you guys. Thanks for listening. Bye. Goodbye. See ya.